Hi, today we're going to take a look at how AMD's Ifinity multi-display technology can help facilitate common multi-application workflows. Today we're going to look at a, an example from the digital content creation space and look at three applications. Uh, we're going to have 3ds Max uh, modeling design tool from Autodesk, Mudbox uh, clay modeling tool also from Autodesk, and Photoshop uh, image processing application from Adobe. So to illustrate this workflow, a pretty common workflow, uh, we'll go ahead and create uh, some objects in, in, in 3ds Max here, give us kind of an interesting scene. Put a few more objects in there. Uh, put a sphere in there. Okay. So now we've got a few objects on our scene. So we want to create some interesting characters that we can then import into our scene and do all kinds of cool animation tricks with. So we'll go over to Mudbox. We've got a little dinosaur model. It's a clay model. Again, it's a clay modeling tool. So we'll go and grab one of the clay tools and we'll make our dinosaur look a little more menacing. We'll get ahead and, and put some spines on him. That way he'll look a little more interesting. So just like any piece of clay that you're working with, you actually just go ahead and grab it and, and pull it up. And so we'll turn around, put a few on the other side as well. So again, I'm just grabbing the clay and pulling it up. And put one more over here. Grabbing a little low down, I'll grab up. So we've got our dinosaur now. He's got a few uh, spines on him, looks a little more interesting. But again, he's still got kind of that clay color. So let's try to put some interesting texture and make our model look a little more interesting before we bring him into our 3D design tool. So we'll go over to, to Photoshop and we've got a, a, a green snake skin image here, but I think I'll go something a little different color from my dinosaur. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just uh, do a quick add here of a new layer and put a little color on it. Then I'll set the opacity down on that. So that gives me a kind of a nice orange texture. So I like that. So I'll go ahead and use that for my dinosaur. I'll go ahead and save my file out. And I'll just save it as a JPEG so I can bring it in easily to my. OK, so now I've saved out my snake skin. So I'll go back over to Mudbox. And I go and import my fake orange snake skin I just created here. And there's my dinosaur with his orange snake skin. So now I can simply save this model out. I'll go ahead and export it. Bring my model out. And now I can simply bring it in. my dinosaur model. I'll go ahead and bring him in. And there's my dinosaur model. He's now into 3ds Max. Again, using Mudbox to create the model, Photoshop to actually create some texture and imaging elements that I added to it. And now I've got it into my design package and I'm ready to go ahead and create my game or video, whatever it is I'd like to do. So again, a pretty simple example here, but it does show the power and flexibility of using AMD's Ifinity multi-display technology to actually help facilitate pretty common workflows. Um, in DC space or whatever market you happen to be in. Again, multi-applications are very common these days. We didn't have to alt-tab, didn't have to shuffle through screens. Our work just sim seamlessly flowed from one screen to the other. So again, really showing the power of the Ifinity multi-display technology and how it can be used in a number of different situations.